Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey, it's your girl Jess Bree coming at you with another video, video, video. <clears throat> so, I just not too long ago finished listening to Liv's, um, <laughs> Liv's live and, um, you know, I kind of, I kind of feel... <clears throat> Let's see how I can say this here. I feel I feel bad for in a way. Um because you know, a lot of us are are have been at one time troubled souls. Um you know, we've gone through things, we experienced things. Um some of us haven't had the best upbringing. You know, parents have been, <clears throat> um, you know, parents aren't the best example, so on and so forth. Um, so, you know, um, but at some point we do have to take accountability for our own actions, um, you know, because I, I've been down that road kind of where, you know, I, try, I was in my 20s, mid to late 20s, still blaming my parents for, you know, certain things and things like that. Um, so I kind of get it, you know, um, that uh, Liv is, is just, um, she's kind of acting out in a way. Um because probably because of how she was raised um you know her daddy issues of you know of course um so you know it's it's a lot when 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 you really don't have a direct a, uh, Um, yeah, I was thinking about, I know I listened to, um, Yanni Bonnie B earlier. That's my girl. I mean, I know we would be good friends in real life, but, um, and she made a lot of good points, um, you know, as far as the lives um background history and and you know her growing up as a teenager and whatnot um i do find that it's it's unfortunate that um she is limited in her education so that you know her children will not benefit you know from her being able to um that the children won't be able to benefit from their mom having a certain uh hunger for knowledge you know so basically in in i guess you know um Liv could be very well off in, 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 um, you know, in this YouTube world or whatever and, and make it, you know, flip it into a success. Um, but then, you know, she'll still repeat that cycle if she doesn't have that discipline, um, you know, when it comes to rearing the children, um, This movie is... What is this movie called again? Everybody know the movie name with Adam Sandler, Sandler and the kid and uh, Chris Rock and Shaq. It's something part two. And everybody dressed up for Halloween. It reminds me of when I went on my um when I went on my cruise during Halloween, and we had the best time. Um, you know, a lot of people were dressed up. 
and um, and some really great costumes on the cruise on the ship. Um, one girl had broke her ankle or broke her leg or something, but she still came in her wheelchair and everything. It was a younger black couple. Um, but uh, forget the name of this movie. It's like um. Chris Rock dressed as a uh, as Prince, and then somebody else is just another the other black guy. Was just a prince. And Shaq fell asleep in his dollhouse. What the hell? <laughs> anyway, so the latest is Liv put out a video where she was kicking out Bozo. And the dates are all, we're all confused about the dates because she's packing this stuff up, giving the bunny away and stuff. And now he's got penis, penis pics out, dick pics out from somebody he was flirting with on Instagram or something. Shit, I should have flirted with his ass, but I blocked him. He um was following me on Instagram, but I blocked his ass. I don't want no parts of that shit. Um... <laughs> so a lot of people are saying that they still together and they still together um <clears throat> yeah she I, I know that we judge her for um and we react to her lifestyle um and the things that she do which I mean is to be expected you can't Put yourself out there and do crazy shit and just think that it's the norm. But, you know, obviously it's the norm for her. And that's how she... My question to her would be, do you want your daughters to fall in your footsteps, follow in your footsteps? Do you want your son to date... A, well, she, obviously she would say, yes, yeah, she want her son to date a woman like her. But... um. But I mean, I guess, yeah, that would be my question because, um, you know, again, like I said, all that best friend bullshit, I ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. That's her problem with Stella now. That's probably why she be cussing Stella ass the fuck out. But, um, you know, she'll learn. She'll learn because she ain't raised teenagers yet. I had one and I had to punch her in the mouth and I had to beat her up, you know, one good time. And like somebody said, um, that's all you black women <laughs> that you can do. <laughs> girl, because if Liv was my daughter, girl, my foot would still be stuck in her ass. Y'all better watch everybody hates <laughs> She stood, she had my handprint in her face and my foot in her ass. But, um, you know, it's either that or you're going to get it out there in the streets. People talking about, you know, not, not, um, not whooping on your kids. Well, so what you want to do? I mean, is it better for the police to whoop on them? Is it better for, uh, you know, for them to get incarcerated? Like, what the fuck? You know, obviously, Bozo ass ain't had nobody... You know, there for him, not saying that, you know, not saying the whooping is the a means to an end and that's everything, you know, that's all that is, you know, that's the only way to parenting, shit. I only put my hands on my, well, I only really like had to do some damage to my daughter twice in her 18 years. Um... You know, aside from the little, you know, whippings, the little, you know, the little whoops, the little tap, and not even with a belt. I mean, I got whipped with a belt, but, you know, with my hand, maybe, I can't even hardly remember now. And then uh, my son, his dad, he's six foot five. He's scared of him already just by his height. So all I got to say is I'm calling your daddy and he straightens the up. 
But I did have to yoke him up one good time in um, Walmart because he was getting disrespectful. I called his dad, put him on a speaker, and, you know, he whining and carrying on. I said, okay. Um, you know, so for the most part, I ain't saying I'm not, I ain't even whooping my kids. Like, you know, like I might even sound like I'm doing anything, you know, remotely close to that. So, um, what was I going to say? But, um, uh, you know, a lot of women, they feel like, and like I said, I get it. I sound like a repeat record player. I get that, you know, you don't want to be lonely or you're hurt and you don't know how to get over the person. Um, but laying up under another person is not... Uh, I'm not going to say it's not the... It's not the only way to do it. And my issue with Liv is just don't do this shit around your kids. Just because he fucking need a place to stay, bitch. If you already leaving the kids alone at home any fucking way, take the nigga to a motel and fuck him there and then drop his ass off. Like, why do you feel the need to bring these men around your fucking kids? I don't get it. Because this ain't going to be the last. You sitting up there in this last live, you know, talking all um, demure and, you know, quiet and shit, you know. And maybe you, hopefully you are really, you know, thinking about your decisions. But I just never, you know what I'm saying? I never felt like I just had to have a man so bad that I just had to move him into my house and furthermore, I've never even dealt with a man that didn't have his own shit. So, I mean, at the end of the day, bitch, this just goes to show, number one, that you really are not that bitch. And like I said, I hate even using that term because I don't feel like that's what grown women, you know, that's not really a grown woman term but if that's what you want to use okay let's use it but you're not that bitch because for, I just I just don't even I don't I don't know I, I I don't know that life living of I don't know how to live a life where you know I date somebody and they don't have a home or a vehicle. Like, I don't know that man. <laughs> I do have an ex that's locked up now. He don't have a home. And, um, you know, we just started talking back. You know, we he called me. And, you know, we talking as friends. I'm not. And in a minute, I was just saying, you know, I'm about to tell his ass, listen. I'm not, I started answering the phone for my ex who's currently locked up. And it's crazy because, like, he was so in love with me. And it's like, we just, like, flow. Whenever we, you know, you don't talk to somebody for a long time, even if it's just a friend, a girlfriend, boy, male friend, whatever. And you talk, you start talking back to them, and it's like you never left off. That's that's how it is. But in a minute, I'm about to be like, because I'm so at a place in my life where I'm really um, kind of like in a place of where I just... I'm kind of to myself, so in a minute I'm about to tell him, yo, if I don't answer my phone, you don't take it personal, I just don't want to talk. Like, that's just in the space I'm in right now. Um, and, so yeah, but, um, I would just hope that, you know, 
Live. They said you mentioned church. Um, I hope that you will really consider, you know, um, going and and talking to someone, sharing, um, and trying to get a better understanding of life in general from a biblical perspective. Um, you know, so I'm not, um, trying to preach or anything like that, but, um, there are some true Christians out there in spite of, you know, what people portray, um, that, you know, Christians are just out there to, um, uh, uh, judge you and, and, you know, whatever. That's not true for everybody. So, um, if you can get around some good saints, some good old saints of God and some younger women, um, that would be amazing, you know? Um, because the problem is people, and we've all done this, don't get me wrong, we run to God, uh, you know, when, when we're in trouble, um, I was raised to thank God when things are going good, so I know you know, some mornings I wake up and I have just said, you know, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, you know, for life, health, and strength. And I've, t- I've tended to do that on a regular basis, you know. Um, just thank God for my irons, my limbs, my hands, you know. And not just when stuff is going bad. Um, so to get a better understanding... You know, I hope that you would find a good church to, you know, to maybe just, you know, take a look and just see, just see what you get out of it. Um, I can't suggest anything else because I'm a Christian. The only thing I can suggest is church, but, um, ew. This movie is weird. <laughs> but anyway, I'm glad she mentioned church. Um, hopefully. You know. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, I mean... Because in order to get over her husband... You know, she's got to figure out a way that's going to be healthy so that she can, you know, still be able to um, nourish those children the proper way without being hateful. And she's going to have to get in a place where she, you know, she's going to have to hopefully eventually become cordial with... um, his girlfriend so okay just a quick story i was my son's father um he got married to a woman and um me and her had a conversation and she was telling me you know that she um her ex had cheated on her ex-husband had cheated on her and um but then you know eventually at some point they all became cool her, the ex, the ex-husband, and the new wife. Um, then my son's father cheated on her, so now they're broken up. I don't know if their divorce is final. So you know, there's women that, I mean, good grief. I mean, they 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 go. They are. There's other women out here that really have gone through some shit. Um, 
I just hope for her sake that she becomes, if nothing else, more vulnerable. I think that her channel, that people would be more empathetic if she was more vulnerable. Kind of like what I saw towards the end tonight that I caught, the live that I caught. Um, just honest, more honest, more vulnerable. Um, you know, and stuff like that. If you, if, if Olivia, if Liv, okay, got a channel, Liv. If you're listening to this, anybody's listening to this, go watch um tell the truth tech t-e-q to tech miller she was married she just got divorced last year about 11 months ago she's a young black girl who married an older white guy they had a baby she was a stepmom they ended up getting um divorced um she took some time off from youtube then when she came on you know she's not putting everything out there but she, I was watching a video the other day where, you know, she just was like, she's just having a conversation, talking about how she misses her son because she has to share her son. And she was like, yo, you know, I really, I really feel like I'm going to cry right now. You could tell her eyes are welling up. And she was just being super vulnerable and honest, which I think that is much more endearing then, hey y'all, hey y'all, got me a new man. Mind your business. <laughs> you know, it's like, girl, you a grown ass woman. This is real fucking life. You know. Um, I just hope that she makes a decision to be more discreet with her children, even if she came on. And, and, and while she was at the, if she just felt like she had to have content and was at the motel with the nigga, like, hey, y'all, with my dude, da, 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 you know, that's him. She want to show him off or whatever for a few minutes, but keep him separate from your children. Your children do not have to be involved in your fuck shit. I mean, did you grow up like, did Stella just have random men just coming in and out your fucking life? Honest to God. And, you know, it's it's obvious the type of mother that she is, that if she ain't said shit to you, you know, that's just poor mothering. Because like somebody said, I don't care how old you, you know, I mean, shit. My mother, she tend to stay out of my business because a lot of times I was like, you know, uh, uh, more recently she stayed out of my business. But if it wasn't for her, you know, saying certain things to me, she wouldn't be... You don't... You, I mean, you can reserve your opinions to a certain extent, but when it's children involved, I, I don't know. I, I don't. I feel like if my daughter had a child, and I don't care, if she was thirty-five. If she had a little child, and I saw some fuck shit going on, I'm gonna say how I feel. I don't care if you like it or you don't. Um, maybe Stella is saying something to her. I don't fucking know. But um, stop, you know, just because you've grown, don't ever mean you stop learning. Um, and then just the fact that you got to say it 20,000 times, I don't know what's worse. But anyway... Um, um, you really gonna have to work on yourself and hopefully, hopefully, maybe, 
And it's not 100% necessary. Um, Because my mother, she never talked to my sister's mother my whole, you know, growing up. So, um, but at least work on being cordial and work on when the kids come home that they can at least talk about the lady without you feeling of course initially you'll feel a type of way because they gonna like they like her and that's obvious and you're gonna don't make these kids feel like they have to choose please don't make them feel bad for having a good time um you really hopefully you'll really you know take time to just pray and ask god you know or when they are telling when the children are talking about her you know just breathe just breathe because i get it i think most of us get it like i don't know yanni bonnie is my one of my favorite youtubers <laughs> and I think I, if I, I'm speaking for myself, but I, I can say that I feel like she gets it. I get it. I even think Queen Blama gets it. Like you're hurting, and it's okay not to like the young lady right now. And maybe you just need to have a sound session where you just. Just be honest. Like, I don't like that bitch. I, you know, she ain't did nothing. She, she's with my husband. I don't like her, you know. Um, And whatever the past is, the past, the future, whatever. Something, you need to be honest about that some kind of way. Um... And maybe just, you know, ask people to to pray for you and to, you know, give you advice. Um, and things of that nature. Um, hopefully at some point. Because if you claim you so over uh, your husband then you should be able to sit down and, ha and and be cordial. Like, what's the problem now? If you over him, you done moved on to Bozo, he got a girlfriend, then everything should be okie-dokie. If you not harboring no higher feelings, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's the problem? It shouldn't be no feelings. The kid's with him, and if, he's, if they're with him, you know, she can post the kids because if he, if it's okay with him, it's obvious that it's okay with him because she's posting the children and they're his children too. So you don't get to say from over in Texas, oh, you can't post my kids, only the father can. That makes no sense. And who cares what your men do? You got your men around your, your random men around your children from a halfway house. You know, who don't have a good um, history or background. And you worried about posting pictures on the internet when you could have a fucking pedophile in your home. So, hopefully, you'll just take heed to somebody advice. I don't fucking know, girl. <sighs> um, all right, y'all. Feel free to hit the like, share, subscribe. Mm, I just had some noodles. They was good as hell. All right, y'all. Be blessed.